captain's log. Deeper State Keto week 987. I fear the lack of calories is starting to affect me mentally. Uh, I am weak and agitated and annoyed and over it. Hashtag over it. Okay guys, so I just left the gym. It was a horrible workout. I was on the treadmill for all of 20 minutes before I was like, I don't feel like doing this anymore. So luckily my aunt was there and she proposed that we just walk to this grocery store that was about uh, half a mile away. So she was like, let's just walk to the grocery store and you know, she'll do some shopping and then we can walk back and that'll be exercise. And thank goodness she did that because I was about to just step off that thing and just like give it all up. Uh, needless to say, Deeper State Keto sucks right now, which that's okay, I'm embracing the suck. But like, I find myself hungry. I'm hungry all the time, but that's okay. That's okay, this is a challenge and I am challenging myself and there's only two weeks left. We're in the literal home stretch. I know last week I said we were in the DSK home stretch, but <laughs> there is a phase of the program that's actually called home stretch <laughs> and we are officially entering that for the last two weeks. So I am glad I am about 10 pounds above my goal weight for ending the program. I want it to end on 147, but I'm about at 157 right now. So I still have two more weeks of good eating, of low calorie deficit, you know, to try to, you know, muscle building, to try to do some recomp. So, you know, it, it's not really about the weight. As long as I can get below, I really would like to get below 155, but you know, like I said, once again, I'm just following the program. Like, I don't have any weight goals or muscle goals. I just have following the program goals. Uh, as we know, I have not been following the program the whole time. I mean, there have been a, uh, a few cheats in there, and I'm sure that definitely has to do with my uh, higher recorded weight. I don't care, still proud of myself, still, pushing hard these last two weeks and actually last three weeks because last week I made it a point to stay on plan the whole time. I committed to staying on plan the entire month of July. So the program ends on the 21st. Uh, this week I am making pizza casserole and like I'm down to one hot dog. Like the protein you guys is getting so low. It's crazy. So. I am having pizza casserole for meal one. I am having one hot dog and those chocolate coconut fat bombs for meal two. So the fat is okay. It's the protein that you just can't do anything with. So uh, that is what I'm doing. I'm at the point where I'm at like three Zevias a day. <laughs> I'm still loving that sugar-free jello. I mean, at this point, I am just getting by however I can. Today's gonna be weird. I'm not gonna be able to start on meal prep as soon as I get home. I gotta get my wig done at 11. And after that, I'm actually hosting a keto seminar at three o'clock today. I actually offer one-on-one -on -one keto boot camp coaching to you know anybody that wants to learn about the keto diet and learn how to get started in like you know a two-hour intensive boot camp. So I have one of those today and that's really fun. I love talking about the diet. I love helping people start the diet, but that's gonna get in my way of meal prep. So I don't know the schedule for what's going on. I just know I gotta get shopping and get moving. guys I am at the shop uh, about to get my hair done uh, and of course I'm already starving so I have one of my barbecue bacon I ran out of cheese <laughs> barbecue bacon burgers for lunch and I'm gonna have that look at that mm, that looks great yep I'm gonna kill that and Dr. Zevia I got orange from the store today I'm very excited to try that out 
Uh, but I'm just gonna be eating and getting my hair done and getting on with my day and not meal prepping yet. So stay tuned. It's just after 5.30. I finished my seminar and I did some more shop stuff. Uh, the seminar was great. I'm so excited. I love being able to talk to people about keto. I am going to eat here since all my food is here anyways. And when I get home, I wanna hit the ground running with meal prep. I don't wanna take the chance of sitting down and eating and getting comfortable uh, and not finishing meal prep. That's not an option. So I have my pepperoni chips basically pepperonis in the microwave and then I have hot dogs those are some gross looking hot dogs uh, they're covered in barbecue sauce uh, they're gonna taste good um, so I'm just gonna watch YouTube videos here for a few minutes while I eat I also have my mountain Zevia I mean just so many good flavors of this stuff so I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna head home for meal prep finished with my pizza casserole I'll just put it in the oven uh, you can see behind me if you follow me on Instagram you saw that I just did a major GNC haul uh, of I got some bang energy drinks I got some quest bars and I got some quest chips well right after I shot that picture I ate the hero bars guys like my impulse control is non-existent and I don't necessarily feel guilty, but like I just know it was unnecessary. And now I kind of feel the need to like work it off and not to punish myself, but just like I got to move more. Like I told you today, my workout earlier was not really good. And I think that's just because I'm low on calories, but since I just re-upped with them calories, I need to re-up with some activity. So I have my pizza casserole in the oven. I may go for a walk here in a little bit and I may or may not make my fat bombs tonight. I mean, the good thing is you just 
heat them on the stove, put them in the freezer, 20 minutes later they're done. So I could technically do that tomorrow morning. I hate to not be able to finish a meal prep, but like it's after eight o'clock and like I am worn out. Like I hit that wall. And I think it, I mean it had to do with the hero bars because it just filled me up so quick and they were good going down. Oh yes, but you always get to this point. So I'm gonna go walking and I'll check back in. Okay guys, I just got back from the walk like 10 minutes ago. It was exactly what I needed. Uh, we did like three miles and I feel so much better. I'm at 15,000 steps. I just got everything out of my system and I am gonna knock out the fat bombs. So let's just whip these up real quick and get this day over with. <laughs> pizza mother uh -uh, casserole oh this looks good oh my god oh my god it smells so good like I could smell the basil so much like I am pleased so this is gonna make uh, six servings I am gonna put the macros up right now okay and you saw I made the fat bombs I put them in those that mold is actually a, a ice cream sandwich cookie mold and I was like those would make beautiful little candy bars so I bought it from the store it was on sale for seven dollars and so I put my fat bombs in there uh, those are now in the freezer those are gonna come out tomorrow so this week for lunch for my first meal I'm having pizza casserole enough said <laughs> that is gonna be pretty filling I'm gonna have Zevia uh, and some gum and then for my second meal I'm having one hot dog which is super sad uh, and then I'm having two fat bombs so that will be filling it'll just be more fat than protein so I'm not gonna lie like today was tough all around it started off tough I mean these next two weeks are gonna be tough I mean I clearly just mini binged on those quest hero bars like I had no intention of eating those but I was like they're here, I'm hungry, I've never had them, let me just try them. Like, I clearly probably shouldn't have bought them at this point in Deeper State Keto, but I'm of the philosophy, like, if you wanna be better, be better. Like, there's no excuse. Like, there's no like, oh, well, I was hungry and I could fit it in my macros anyway. Like, I mean, I went way over total carbs, but I still was under net carbs, so, I mean, that's fine. And I did take a walk and it was exactly what I needed to clear out the cobwebs, get rid of the bloat, um, just make me feel better. Overall, just do better and be better. Like, deeper state keto, I'm not gonna lie, it is tough, but it's not impossible. And it's not asking me to do anything that I'm not capable of doing. Two weeks of eating at a large deficit. That's really all it is. And I just have to be better. If I want the results, I have to be better. And I'm gonna be better. Be better. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. You can also leave a comment below, hit that thumbs up, and follow me on Instagram, at Watch Autumn Keto. Thank you, and I will catch you next week.